नमस्कार वी आर कवरिंग द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन दैट माइट बी आस्क इन द अपकमिंग यू पी एस सी पी टी एग्जामिनेशन टूडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द एनिमल वुली फ्लाइंग स्क्वेरल एंड इट इज सिग्निफिकेंट फॉर सिविल सर्विस एस्पेरेंट्स द टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चन दैट माइट बी आस्क आर नंबर वन विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग स्क्वेरल स्पीसीज हैज रिसेंटली बीन डिस्कवर्ड फ्रॉम द वेस्टर्न हिमालयाज ए यूपेराटस सिनारिस बी यूपेराटस निभामोन्स सी टेट्रोडोनाइट डी नन ऑफ द अबव second consider the following statements about woolly flying squirrel and chalk out the incorrect statement a it is the largest and heaviest of all gliding mammals b it has not been spotted in the wild since 1981 and was believed to have gone extinct c it has been recently seen in nam dafa national park d they cannot see at night since they have very small eyes third question can be Consider the following statements about Nam Dafa National Park and mark out the incorrect. A. It is also a tiger reserve in the Changlang district of Arunachal Pradesh. B. The dense evergreen forest with high canopy cover supports a variety of fauna and flora including primates. C. Two new Leporidoteris species have been found here which has expanded the Indian list of butterfly. D. The Nam Dafa flying squirrel is under IUCN category 2 of red list. Fourth question can be what is the geographical distribution of woolly flying squirrel? A Kashmir and North Pakistan, B Northern Sikkim in India, C the Amur and Southern Gilgit Baltistan region of Pakistan, D all of the above. Fifth question is what is the biggest threat to woolly flying squirrel? A loss of its natural habitat B climate change and increase in temperature C introduction of invasive species in forest land D all of the above so let's go through this topic and we will find answer to all the above questions so to start with why is in the news one of our top 25 most wanted lost species it has not been seen for 37 years since 1981 in india the woolly flying squirrel is also the largest flying squirrel the longest squirrel and finally the heaviest of all the gliding mammals so it comes under the category of mammals this rodent had not been spotted in the wild since 1924 and was believed to have gone extinct until the summer of 1994 when an american geologist found this species in a remote valley of kashmir region and in the extreme north of pakistan so let's study about the woolly flying squirrel an international team of geologists from australia and china has discovered two new cryptic species in the genus Euperetus which previously included only one species the western woolly flying squirrel which is known as Euperetus cinereus from the Himalayan region of India and this image is of Yunnan woolly flying squirrel which is scientifically known as Euperetus nevamons so these species Euperetus nevamons and the euperetus cinereus are the species of flying squirrels there is one variety known as indian lone squirrel in india there is a kind of flying squirrel known only from a lone squirrel that live in the nam dafa national park in the eastern himalaya in the arunachal pradesh let's mark the geographical location of the same this is india and this black mark is Arunachal Pradesh in the state of Arunachal Pradesh we already have covered this Dibang Valley area related with some topics in places and this is the location of Nam Dafa National Park so automatically for any examination point of view the location of Nam Dafa National Park is very very important apart from this area even in this area of Pakistan in the Gilgit region here also this woolly flying squirrels have been found let's know some facts about the namdafa national park namdafa national park 
is also a tiger reserve in the Changlang district of Arunachal Pradesh, northeastern state of India, and it is very very rich in biodiversity. The dense evergreen forest, which is a type of natural vegetation in this park it has the high canopy coverage that supports a variety of fauna including very much of primates as well namdefa national park is under the category of 2 in iu iuc and list and it is large protected area in arunachal pradesh of the northeast india namdefa was originally declared a wildlife sanctuary in 1972 then it converted into a national park in 1983 and become a tiger reserve under the project tiger scheme in 1983 itself so in 1983 namdefa national park was declared as a national park as well as a tiger reserve in india the namdefa flying squirrel is endemic mind it it is endemic to the park and it is under critically endangered category of iucn red list there are a few settlements of lisu tribes people within the park so this also become important fact in regard to this topic which tribe resides in the area of namdefa national park so answer will be lisu tribe with more than 1000 flora and about 1400 faunal species, it is the biodiversity hotspot in the Eastern Himalayan zone. There is one more thing which was in the news recently in 2020 and 2021 that you must know and recall about the Namdefa National Park. And the fact is Lepidopteris. Lapido Pitaris in Arunachal Pradesh have helped add two new species to India's expanding list of butterflies. So the scientific name of butterflies are Lapido Pteris. The stripped hair streak, it is one of the species of butterfly, was located in Myanmar border. Myanmar, while the elusive prince, this is the another species of butterfly, Elusive Prince was found on the periphery of Nam Dafa National Park. So these two species of butterflies are very very important and it might be asked in the upcoming examination. The finding from Arunachal Pradesh indicate the rich biodiversity of the state. The government thus needs to focus on the helping volunteers or citizens or scientists by providing the support needed to conserve this area. The stripped hair stick, which is a butterfly, mind it, stripped hair stick is a type of butterfly, was first recorded by a Japanese etymologist. Etymologist is a term who extensively studies about the butterfly in Hainan province of China. So, a stripped hair stick butterfly is basically an endemic species of butterfly from China. And the elusive prince has a Vietnamese connection and was thought to be the more familiar black prince found in the eastern Himalaya. So this butterfly black prince is endemic to the eastern Himalayan region. Now come to the main topic of our today discussion which is Namdefa flying squirrel. The national park harbors the northernmost lowland evergreen rainforest in the world at 27 degree north latitude and Nandafa flying squirrel is only known with certainty from a single individual collected in the Namdafa National Park, the largest protected area in the eastern Himalayan biodiversity hotspot at an altitude of between 100 to 350 meters above sea level. Scientists believe this lost species, mind it, it was lost. So, this lost species occurs generally in dry, deciduous and mountain forest along streams or rivers and may be restricted to the area of a single valley within the Namdefa National Park. So, their habitat is very, very limited. This is an arboreal species of butterfly that is likely most active at dusk. 
not in day not in night two new species of flying squirrel discovered in the himalayas these are some of the largest squirrel in the world and they are actually two different species and live thousands of kilometer apart on the roof of the world new species are distinct one and have been named as the tibetan uli flying squirrel whose scientific name is eupeteris tibetanis and the second one is yunnan uli flying squirrel and the scientific name is eupeteris nevamons tibetan once lived at the crossing where india bhutan and tibet meets part of the indian himalayas around sikkim and uttarakhand may be home to these animals they might also be found in the south central tibet and in the western bhutan yunnan species live thousands of kilometers to the east in the yunnan province of southwest china most live in the northwest yunnan region they are comparatively huge animals and it is unusual that it took till 2021 for them to be discovered and scientifically named scientists will now try and learn more about their lives and their habitat and this is an example and a picture of a yunani species of flying squirrel so let's know about their distribution originally all available information on this animal came from a few specimen found in kashmir which is a part of northern pakistan and not sikkim in india this is the region of pakistan and this region of india is a natural habitat for them the current range of this species is restricted to a tiny area in diamar and southern gilgit this region this region is diamar and southern gilgit district in the northern pakistan although the woolly flying squirrel can possibly be found in india and other neighboring countries so as per the scientific exploration all this red mark area can be the possible home for flying squirrel preferred habitat of this they are comes under the category of rodent so preferable habitat of this rodent is caves and crevasses found on steep cliff in dry conifer forest let's have a look about their habitat and lifestyle currently very little information on habits and behavior of this species are known to man the woolly flying squirrel are known to inhabit pine forest found at high elevation in the himalayan region they occur near cliff as well as rocky caves and crevices these rodents are nocturnal animal mine is they are nocturnal animals sending their spending their daytime hours in shelter and resting although winters in himalayas are very harsh but these animals don't hibernate so this is a very distinct feature of this flying squirrel and this is a real image of this uli flying squirrels instead they remain active throughout the cold winter months and generally feeding upon mosses and lichens growing on the rocks when birds and cones appears the squirrel occasionally travel to boreal forest to collect the food due to its large size and blunt claws mine large size and blunt claws this terrestrial mammal cannot climb the tree perfectly communication habit of this species are still unknown to us although the squirrels give out a cry which is through to occur after the death of a loved one can you imagine that they too have a emotion for their loved people and there is some fact that you must know about the flying squirrels they have big eyes to improve night vision since they are nocturnal they can glide up to 30 feet and they can make 180 degree turns and some can be larger than the house cat that you have at your home and some glow at night and this is an strategy of adaptation for the flying squirrels so have you ever imagined the what exactly they eat 
they eat pizza or burger is it so not exactly these rodents are herbivores they are known to specially favor cones of picasa moriandi the native spur and it a kind of a fur this is an ideal food for this squirrel they eat a range of fruits not just nuts as we have normal the perception that the squirrels eat only the nut but it is not the truth flying squirrels eat a range of food including fungi nuts berries seeds and as well as carrions eggs slugs and small birds the IUC and red list does not provide the exact number of the woolly flying squirrels population in the world however population in the core region of diama is suggested to be around 1000 to 3000 individuals currently the woolly flying squirrels is classified as endangered on the IUC and red list so this is a very important information that they are classified as endangered species so what exactly are the threats to this cute flying squirrel for their population there are some noted threats and the biggest threats to the woolly flying squirrel is loss of natural habitat as a result of mass clearing and cutting of the natural forest So this is the top most threat to the population of squirrels. The notable concern includes expansion of human settlements in the forest area, development of infrastructure and agriculture, while converting the forest land for the human settlement, as well as localized logging to clear the forest range in which the flying squirrel resides. So what is the importance? of this flying squirrel for humans human have long shout to replicate the flying squirrel's gliding ability mind it gliding abilities base jumpers and sky divers have developed a special suit that mimic the flying squirrel the suit works to slow their descent and allow them to maneuver through the air so this is an importance as a human being we have learned a lot from the nature so now as it's a general question to know whether these squirrels are dangerous to us or not and the answer is flying squirrels are not at all dangerous and pose no health hazard to human beings and they are not even aggressive in nature but they do have the sharp teeth so if you wanted to harm them they may bite you a bit so stay away and don't disturb them Now let's know something about their life cycle. Molecular studies to study their genetics have shown that flying squirrel originated some 18 to million years ago. The young are born in a nest so they make a nest and are hairless and helpless at birth. Their internal organs are visible through their skin at the time of birth while females care and suckle the male do not join in nurturing their young ones by the fifth week the young are able to practice their leaping and gliding skill with the help of their mothers by the 10th week having perfected their gliding they are ready to leave the nest they live up to 6 years in the wild but flying squirrels can live up to 15 years in zoo now there is a tricky question for you can you analyze as to why a squirrel live only 6 year in the wild but they can survive up to 15 years in captivity what what could be the possible cause of it if you know the answer please do comment in the comment section we will answer to you the mortality rate is high in young one due to the predators and diseases in the newborn species so now onward we will be just discussing the general physiology and behavior of the woolly flying squirrel although little is known about the species like all of its other tree born brethren the namdafa flying squirrels undoubtedly possess stunning abilities and fascinating habits 
much like Buzz Lightyear's, flying squirrels don't actually fly. They glide or fall with style. So they are not actually a flying object. Rather, they prefer to glide or fall with style. So they also have a tushion. Flying squirrels have membranes, membrane or fur between their arms and legs and this is known as patagia. This patagia helps them in gliding. The patagia act as parachute to show them in leaps between trees. Human base jumpers mimic this technique of this flying squirrel. They can leap many times their own body length and can have precision control of their landings. So they are very very trained in this category. So how exactly this flight happens with this squirrel? This, this membrane is known as patagia which is attached with the forelimb and the legs. So this is patagia which helps in gliding or flight. Flights which are really a glide of nearly 300 feet have been recorded so far. Flying squirrels can also turn nearly 180 degree in mid air. Think about it, how spectacular it would be if you look at that. Their limbs and their flat rubbers like tail help them steer and control their lips. They alight exactly like a batman. They reach towards their landing spot with a strong padded feet that land silently before their front limbs come down to study the landing ground. Now in this video, let's have a look exactly how they glide. So now you can see that with the help of this patagon, these are flying squirrels who are going to land on the tree. Please have a look at this. So these are the squirrel and this is the technique that they apply while fighting. And in this video, you can clearly imagine that these all activity or the hyper activities are happening at dark at night. They usually sleep or rest in daytime. And in this video, you might have noticed that they glide from the higher end to the lower side or the lower altitude. Look at the perfect landing they did. And this is the home. And look how cutely they are eating. This is a real video being taken from the internet sources. So hope by now you must be very very clear about the flying technique of flying squirrels. So they are active at night. They fly and stay up at night to avoid predators. So this is the main reason why they are nocturnal. Flying squirrels use their aerial ability to evade predators including aboreal snakes. But their folded patagia prevent them from being as nimble on their feet as non-flying squirrels, which makes them more vulnerable to predators, including birds of prey, dogs and cats. Being active at night helps them hide from those predators. Their enormous eyes, minute enormous or the large eyes, help them see in the dark. So they are naturally built to sustain at night. Here onward, we will be discussing about some of the major flying species across the world. So to start with southern flying species of US, the northern and southern flying species squirrels in the United States don't hibernate, but they do snuggle up for some time. Flying squirrels don't hibernate through the winter but they do slow down their metabolism to conserve resources and energy. They are social creatures and they will also curl up in nest with up to 20 other flying squirrels to keep warm in one massive cuddle of a cuteness. So they are really a social being. This can be very huge as well. Only three species of flying squirrels are native to North America and they are pretty tiny, each about 26 cm long. But 90% of all flying squirrel species in Asia and some of them are in size of the raccoon. The Laotian giant flying squirrel is more than a meter long 
and it weighs nearly 1.8 kg so at times they can be really huge and they are stealthy sneaky and hiding in plain sight few people ever see flying squirrels and their elusive nature also means even scientists can have trouble tracking them in fact a new species of american flying squirrel the humboldt flying squirrel in southern america was described in 2017 as for its hiding nature the laotian giant squirrel was discovered in a bush meat market in laos in 2012 there is one specific feature of this uli flying squirrel and that is surprise disappearance they are excellent at surprise appearance and disappearance the travancore flying squirrel of the western ghat of india so this is another species the travancore flying squirrel of india and sri lanka was thought to be extinct in the early 1900 but they reappeared in 1960 then disappeared again for another two decades the woolly flying squirrel of pakistan was described in 1924 disappeared until 1994 and seems to have vanished again those feast of disappearance give scientists hope that the namdafa flying squirrel mind it the namdafa flying squirrel might someday be found again this is an added factual information when we are studying about the giant indian flying squirrel that the black giant indian flying squirrel are found in kerala and in the western ghat of india and the black giant squirrel the scientific name is ratufa bicolor is one of the largest species of squirrel in the world and the black giant squirrel can measure up to 1.1 meter including body and tail and this is example of black giant squirrel this is a typical diagram of indian giant flying squirrel which has been discovered recently these are the references that has been used in order to make this presentation for you if you wanted to read ahead you can go through this references now this is answer time for the question that we have asked at the beginning to start with for question number 1 the answer is a eupeteris cinereus for question number 2 the answer is d they cannot see at night since they have very small eyes but they have large eyes so this statement is incorrect for question number 3 the answer is d the namdafa flying squirrel is under iucn category 2 of red list no they are in category of endangered for question number 4 the answer is d all of the above and for question number 5 the answer is a loss of its natural habitat is the major threat thank you we will be taking up another animal in news in our next video see you there subscribe the symbol is youtube channel for your civil service preparation namaskar to have more such discussions and analysis subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon for notifications on our upcoming videos